Hey, how's it going out there, YouTube? Uh, today, I want to do another unboxing uh, for the MakerBox. This is a, uh, a monthly video uh, of 3D printed uh, material that you can get sent. Uh, it's around $19, and these guys are pretty awesome. So, um, I definitely enjoyed last month's. I got some awesome material out of there, and um, Everything I got from them was like top notch, like not bottom of the barrel stuff that you would, uh, you know, expect to get for $19. So definitely, um, if you guys are into 3D printing, definitely highly recommend that you check these out. Now, there is a, um, a referral code. Uh, I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's just raw deals. If you go to makerbox.me, enter that in, you do get a couple dollars off of your first month. And um, yeah, so I thought we'd do another unboxing. I'm gonna try to do these every single month. As long as I see that there's even a few people watching them, I will continue to do them for you. But um, definitely think this is a uh, really neat idea for people that are just getting into it. You don't know what uh, filament's good or what's gonna print good with your, with your printer. Um, this is a fantastic way to get, you know, four or five samples per month that you can play around with to see what works well and what doesn't. So for me, I was interested in printing ABS and um, just different things other than PLA because PLA is the most common. You would have gotten a sample with it. You know, I had um, Hatchbox uh, PLA, which prints fantastic and it's cheap, but I wanted to try other things out, uh, you know, nylon, ABS, things like that. So. Uh, it's random what you get. You can't pick what you're gonna, what they're gonna send you. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's so let's check it out. So I got another box here. Let me start with that first. So um, I just bought some uh, some additional rolls that I knew I wanted, and uh, it's like we got. Two of them here, and this one is all right. So there, this is the Hatchbox Gray. Um, I really like Hatchbox. I think it's a fantastic um, filament, and uh, this is the PLA, just standard gray, you know, PLA filament. Uh, nothing special about it. Um, this, this stuff is a workhorse, so if you want some good filament that's easy to work with and it's reliable, uh, I recommend Hatchbox. You can pick it up on Amazon. Uh, there's a ton of different colors and types of material there as well. Um, and then this one is uh, Repco 3D. Uh, this was just a good deal, so I bought it. I have no idea what it's going to print like or anything like that, but... It was $16 for a PLA, uh, and it's pretty bright green as you can see there. So I'll definitely let you guys know what, what I think of this. Hatchbox is around $20 to $23. I think this stuff was like 16 bucks. So uh, the reviews seem pretty good on it. And uh, yeah, I'll try it out and see what it's like. So yeah this is repco and again this was bought off of amazon as well so it's saying print temperature for pla 190 to 220 and uh it's a 1.75 that's about it okay so let's get to the uh the maker box So this is what you get. It's like a, a monthly loot box for people that are just watching this and have no idea what, what I'm doing right now. This is a, a loot box for 3D printing and um, give you some gummy bears there and something to receive a free maker box for every seven people you refer. Please sign up, give me a free maker box. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, just some information on it about some of the um, the nylons that came in this. So I don't want to read that just yet. A couple stickers. So the first one here is a stone fill. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, it's a terracotta stone fill um, 
1.75. I don't know what type of filament it is, if it's PLA. It does give me um, a pretty vague uh, print temp, 200 to 240 C, and that's pretty much it. But it feels, um, it has like a pretty, you know, textured feel to it. So I would imagine you would want to be careful with, uh, with this stuff here. I don't know if it'll wear out your nozzle faster or not. I'll have to do a little more research and see exactly. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go to um, formfreechur.com. And there's a uh, MakerBox code there to get 10% off. But maybe I can get a little more information on what it is and, uh, you know, recommended print settings there. So... For the next one, we get a, um, this is a PLA and it's called Z Marble. So it's a whole stone theme, I guess, for the month already. Um, so this is a, it's supposed to look like, uh, like marble when it's printed, which is kind of cool. So if you're printing something really flat, you could get like a, a granite or marble countertop kind of look. Uh, bed temperature is, um, 180 to 220. Pretty standard for a PLA bed temp of 40 to 50 C and your print speed of 50 to 70 millimeters a second um, it says a composite PLA manufactured to resemble real marble print similar to PLA a lot of times they'll give you um, like what type of um, print service you should print on so there's useful information on these on these tags which is kind of cool all right this one is a rainbow pastel and it looks pretty cool. So it's multicolored uh, filament there. So it's not all just the same color. Let me take it out of the bag so you can see this one. Um, but you can see it's it's kind of bland actually. But there's like purples and reds and yellows and uh, just different colors in there. You can see what it's going to look like. Um, so I was in. I saw this just uh, last week on Amazon and. I was um, curious about it like so if I print like a vase or something like that it's going to come out um, multicolored with you know colors just seamlessly changing throughout so that's kind of cool I'm, I'm interested to try that out I'm probably going to print like some big vase or something like that and give it to my mom or you know some someone like that so uh, this one here um, 210 to 230c bed temp 40 to 60c Print temperature is uh, 20 to 100 millimeters a second. It's not abrasive, uh, and it says a PLA that transitions through a pastel rainbow blue tape or glue stick on glass is recommended. So there you go. It's giving you your uh, print bed recommendations right there. And then lastly, um, we get it's called Phoenix Ni Nylon. Wow. Okay. So exactly what I'm talking about here is a material that I have not printed with yet and I'm interested in and excited to try it out uh, it feels very similar to um, TPU or even almost Ninja Flex it doesn't have the stretch to it but it's definitely very flexible so I'm interested to try this out um, and this is uh, it's called Phoenix Nylon by a company called Breathe 3DP uh, hot end temperatures 240 to 260, uh, bed temp 60 to 80, and print speeds of 30 to 150. It's not abrasive, and it says it's an industrial grade nylon with color pigmentation. A glue stick is recommended for bed adhesion, so I guess whatever you're using, this stuff's probably going to be a little harder to, to get it to stick to your bed, so definitely want to use like hairspray, you know blue tape with possibly even um, a glue stick, something like that. But you're probably going to have to work a little bit to try and get this stuff to stick to the bed. Now, again, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, there you go. So um, that's something I was curious about. Last month was my first month getting a maker box, and they were all PLAs in there. So this month, it's kind of cool that we got, you know, two of them are, are PLAs. Um, the third one is debatable if you know let me know down in the comments if you can correct me or not i'm not sure if this one's pla or what it is it just says that it's uh terracotta you know and it's stone fill so i would imagine it's probably a pla just with um you know the color 
uh, mixed into it. Uh, and then nylon, so that's really cool. This is a great month. Um, I am excited to try all these out. I'll try to um, print samples of everything and maybe put them on Twitter or something like that. So if you guys want to follow me over there, uh, there is uh, a link on my page to Twitter. I don't post much there. You get a lot of um, things saying when I posted a new video and that's pretty much it. But I do want to try to use that a little bit more. So um, there you guys go. If you have any questions about MakerBox or you want to know more about it, you can always check out their website. It's called makerbox.me. And um, if you want to sign up for it, use the um, uh, coupon code uh, Raw Dills, and you will get a discount on the first month. And uh, there you guys go. So, uh, yeah, any questions, leave them down below. And I will see you next month for the third installment of MakerBox unboxing. Thanks for watching.